the number one reason why you shouldn't buy a KTM motorcycle, and it's really shocking. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. For those of you that follow me on Facebook, I told you guys I was seriously thinking about replacing my 2016 Ducati X Diablo S with a leftover new 2017 KTM 1290 Super Duke R, also known as the Beast. I know some of you may be thinking, Psycho Cruiser, why would you want to sell this beautiful X Diablo S? Uh, when you love it so, you talk about the rave about the power and how fun it is. Uh, there's a couple of reasons, uh, but it has nothing to do with the performance of this bike. This, the performance on this bike is absolutely amazing. And it's not even the belt that I'm concerned about either. There's a couple other things that I haven't really told you guys about about this bike, which I will cover in a full review on this bike, which I have yet to do. You know, I've talked about a few things about this bike, and of course I did the first ride review. But I, I didn't really give a full review on this bike, which I plan on doing. Uh, but I'll tell you guys, even if I get the KTM 1290 Super Duke R, I may keep this bike around for a little bit to compare both of those bikes because uh, this bike is kind of comparable to the Super Duke R, to be honest with you, even though this is a muscle cruiser. Really, the only thing that makes this bike a cruiser is the, the feet forward pegs and the, the belt drive and that it sits a little low. But because this bike really performs like a sport bike, man, I'll tell you guys, it dives in the corners and it's got super bike power. This bike feels faster than my CBR 1000 RR, I'll tell you guys, at least up to 100, about 120 miles an hour. I mean, this thing pulls hard. It's awesome, man. But like I said, there's a few things that I'm really not hit with that uh that makes me want to possibly sell this bike i don't know though man but the only bike i can see myself replacing this bike with is the 1290 super duke r and they made some really cool changes with the 2017 model i love that new headlight design and they made a few other changes as well on the bike but uh i gotta tell you i did put a 250 dollars deposit to hold uh a 17 1290 Super Duke R. It's an absolutely smoking deal. One of the best deals in the entire country for $15,500 and, and I only have to pay $175 documentation fee and of course my 8% sales tax here in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, so it's going to run me, I think, out the door like $16,900, I think, or something like that. It's a great deal, but there's one big problem, guys, and it's a huge but. And this is where I need you guys to chime in and give me your experience on that bike because this is a deal breaker here, guys. I was looking at the uh, the warranty for the 2017 KTM motorcycles, the limited warranty. And what really stands out here, which by the way, you get two years of limited warranty, but something that is very, very troubling and why you probably shouldn't buy a KT a motorcycle because they're loaded with electronics. It says here, parts covered by the warranty. I have it highlighted here. This warranty covers only the engine, frame, and swing arm. No other components of the motorcycle are covered by any warranty expressed or implied and are sold as is. So basically all the electronics, the braking system, anything other then the engine frame and swing arm is not covered under the warranty. And as you guys know, that uh, Super Duke R is loaded with electronics. That's a techno bike as well, just like this bike is. But one thing I have to praise Ducati for is that they cover all of their components except for the belt drive and tires and the rims and stuff like that. But they cover their electronics and all the other stuff and their brakes and stuff. They ain't clever, cover under the warranty because I... You know, I had, I had a problem with my rear brake where it went dead. It lost pressure. And it, they replaced it. Uh, I mean, they fixed it under the warranty. No problem. I had no issue with them uh, fixing that rear brake. And they said the electronics is covered. I've heard some people that had a problem uh, with the display on there. And they replaced it under the warranty. But you know what? If it's KTM and your display goes out, on your on your Super Duke R, guess what? It's not covered, and it's going to be an absolute fortune 
Even the dealer himself told me that uh, one of the problems they had with a bike that came in, it, uh, the headlight went out or had some, uh, some type of problems or whatnot. It wasn't covered under the warranty and the owner had to pay, I think like $700 for the headlight alone. So you have to keep that in mind. You're buying a, a KTM. Even a lot of their dirt bikes and, and other bikes, you know, their off-road bikes have a lot of electronics on it. So that would, that's re really concerning. And that's why I, that's one of the reasons why I keep this 2012 CBR1000RR because it doesn't have any of that electronic crap. I mean, everything in here is, is, is old school the way I like it, except for the fuel injection, of course, but that is super reliable these days. You don't have any issues with that. But that's why I love this bike. This is a bike I can work on. I don't have no electronic craps to deal with. And, uh, and that's one big reason why I probably won't keep this bike long, this X Diablo, which like I said, I'm thinking about selling it now, but I may keep it around for a little bit. Uh, but I want you guys to tell me how is the reliability on that uh, on a 2017 or 2018 KTM Super Duke, uh, the 1290 Super Duke R? Leave a comment. Like I said, I create these vlogs to incite community discussion. We can all learn together. We can avoid problems. And that's why I'm doing this video. I want to avoid a problem. I don't want to get this, uh, this 1290 and end up with some electronic problems. They're not going to cover it. And I have to pay a fortune for it. And I'm already paying like $16.9 for the bike. Uh-uh, man. And unfortunately, the $250 deductible that I gave to hold that bike uh, basically is non-refundable. So I'll probably lose $250 if I don't buy that bike. But that's why I want to hear from you guys. And I want you to tell me how reliable the 2017 Super Duke R is. I did go to the forums and did some research. And I saw a lot of people that were complaining about uh, the key not being recognized because the... the 1290 has the keyless system like my Ducati X Diablo S and it uh, but I've never had any problems with my keyless system so far uh, but a lot of people on there were saying that sometimes it says there it says the key is out of range and they've replaced the battery and everything the key fob and everything and they still had problems and of course that's not covered under the warranty guys and uh, so you're shit out of luck if you keep having problems with that. So that's why I'm very concerned about buying a KTM, man. Seriously. But I don't know. I'll let you guys know coming up. And also, I'll let you guys. I'm going to do a motor vlog. I have a bunch of motor vlogs coming up. And I'll give you an update on the beta, on my decision on um, whether I should get the beta 300RR or whatever, what other bike I might get in its place. So look forward to those motor vlogs. Um, just like I said, I'm keeping you updated here, but stay tuned. I did get plates for my fold-up trailer here, so I'm set to go, and I'll do a review on this when I get a chance, and of course, I still have yet to do a review on that uh, impact wrench where I plan on taking off the uh, rear bolt uh, off of the CBR and also the bolts off of my uh, SUV and also my uh, bug out moto van and the bug out moto van bolts are gonna be tough We're gonna see how it performs. So stay tuned for that And also for those of you that want to get my gear, you know my cameras my my helmet Camo pants leather jackets boots all of my gear tools everything I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos, but for a full list, go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear, and that's links to all of my stuff. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos, and those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1,000 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate and find what you're looking for. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. We all need to talk about this, man. This is serious. This is really serious, guys. I mean, nobody wants to be on the hook for thousands of dollars, you know. So it may be just worth it to avoid buying a KTM motorcycle. I'm not a hater. Just keeping it real here, guys. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my All the One Motorcycle channel. And also go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. And on Bug Out Moto, that showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere. And has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything Bug Out Moto.
Hey, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. It really helps me get motivated to make more videos when you hit the thumbs up button. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists, one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.